you know. Uh, and so well, I'm glad you could make it. I, I'm glad you can take a lot of back, you know, to, to yeah. the house because otherwise she would have to stay down here until uh, the rest of the day. Millard Fuller. Huh? So that's Millard Fuller, the mm -hmm. founder of the Fuller Center. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah. Okay. And so he's got, he got everything up. And so they, they're going to have uh, first few minutes, we're going to deal with you, you know, background, education, and experiences. And then we're going to show that and, and give you an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, there's only one video, and that's in the segment one part. Segment and one then, the, then the rest are still photos. The rest are still photos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want audio from that video? Um, we could do that because it kind of explains what the Fuller Center is about. So I guess I'll start off um, kind of talking about who I am and then um, about the Fuller Center bike adventure. And then you could play the video then because okay. it explains. Um, you know exactly what the bike adventure is all about and then I'll talk about you know the rest of the stuff under we had some ideas and tried working on various things and then at one point I made a suggestion to him on a single sheet of paper and showed it to him had the top four center bicycle adventure and he looked at it read through the proposal and said you know my favorite word on this sheet of paper is the word annual <laughs> so we've been doing the rides ever since. That was in uh, 2008 was our first um, ride. And then here we yeah, went to San Diego, yeah, California. Yeah, I mean, well, will it, will it play Georgia. on we air? We had just eight of us the whole across thing. the country. If it will, then... I mean, we can play the whole thing. That's pretty much going to take up most of that first segment. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that, that is a big part of... Yeah. 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 We'll play the whole thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's why we wanted to have, yeah. have that six minutes. And we're going to play the whole thing during this first segment after... Uh, I introduce him, and then I'll say, let's look at uh, the video after that, and then we can switch uh, to the video for the rest of that segment. So you open that seg first segment with me, introducing the two of us, and then I'll make some statements, and he'll make some statements, and then I'll say, let's watch the video. Yeah. And then we click the video on uh, to go for the next six minutes, you see. And then he'll be making comments in reference to of the video when, when, when it's appropriate, when it's appropriate. Uh, he's got a plan to talk to him. He'll introduce, introduce, what's your name again, I'm sorry? Alvin. He'll introduce Alvin, Alvin will introduce and we'll talk to him. And don't switch that chair, make that chair move. Well, and will I be able to watch it there? Then? Yeah, you just watch it in any of you said in number yeah, six. Yeah, you just. <laughs> you told me to run Yeah, that. well, uh, you just, yeah, don't. No. So I can watch on two. Hey, Dr. Haney. Mm -hmm. If since it's about a it's about a three minute video. Okay. So if we get two minutes into the top of the segment and we haven't like tossed to it, I'm gonna give you like a I'll do this. Uh -huh. Say toss to the video. Uh -huh. So we can get it in there, play the whole thing. And then we got about a minute to come out to y'all to wrap it up. Oh, uh, and, and that's right. Well, that sounds good. You just let me know when you're uh -huh. coming coming in, sure. Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is, morning is summer cycling adventure 
And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about uh, some recycling adventure, uh, Alvin Haney. Uh, Alvin Haney is a teacher at uh, Mag's Magnet uh, School, and he has a lot of information in reference to his summer adventure riding a bicycle all over many, many places. Oh, uh, AJ, let's see if we can uh, have you to uh, make some statements in reference let's, uh, about uh, some of the things that you've been involved with. Okay, well, thank you for inviting me to come along to the show again uh, this year. Uh, as a school teacher, we have the summers off, so I spend most of my summers mm. um, enjoying you know, the free time and mm. not having to educate, but I also like to do a lot of bicycling. I call myself an mm. endurance cyclist, and in cycling, I like to go out and you know, do lots of miles. Uh, you know, where a typical person on a Sunday evening may go and do five to 10 miles, I, I wanna go do 80 or 90 miles. So mm -hmm. I found myself in the situation where I'm looking for bigger and bigger adventures to participate in. Okay, and so I think that uh, what we'll do, we'll uh, look at some of those, uh, okay. some of your activities in reference well, to Well, one of the groups that I do participate with is the Fuller Center Bike Adventure. Mm -hmm. And I think the video is explaining what the Fuller Center is all about, mm -hmm. why they have the bike adventure, and it'll kind of let you know one of the things I was involved in. Okay. They're going to run that now. My name is Ryan Ifield. Nine years ago, God led me to come join the Fuller Center for Housing as a volunteer straight out of college. Um, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do there, but I had uh, the charge given by Millard Fuller, the founder of the organization. He asked me to try to help get the next generation involved. So we had some ideas and we tried working on various things. And then at one point, I made a suggestion to him on a single sheet of paper and showed it to him, had the top Fuller Center bicycle adventure. And he looked at it, read through the proposal, and said, you know, my favorite word on this sheet of paper is the word annual. And so we've been doing the rides ever since. That was in uh, 2008 was our first ride. And that year we went from San Diego, California to Savannah, Georgia. We had just eight of us go across the country. Um, we stopped and worked on various Fuller Center uh, build sites. Um, as usual, we also had different segment riders who joined us as we went. But the idea that we had that very first year is exactly what we still do with Fuller Center Bicycle Adventure today. It's just on a larger scale. It's been growing and growing. It's been terribly exciting. Uh, so today, we have about 35 riders who are across the country. It's actually so many, we had to break into two rides. We have 35 going the whole way and about another 60 who are doing three weeks or five weeks or one week. Different segments along the way, breaking up into week-long segments, just to give everyone an opportunity to join. And all of us who are part of the journey stop and we just stay in churches along the way. We live very simply. Uh, but we live very fine, it's very, very good. We get to meet lots of people in communities, we speak to churches, we get opportunities to share about what we're doing, why we're doing it. And then, whenever possible, we stop at a Fuller Center for Housing project along the way, lend our own hands, whether it's uh, hammer and nails or painting or laying a roof or cleaning the yard, whatever we're doing, contributing to the work of the Fuller Center for Housing. And so today, it's a tremendous opportunity for people to get involved with the work that we do. It's a little tour de Fuller of uh, visiting Fuller Center projects across, across the United States and a great way to raise support for all the work and donations of people uh, we meet, but also those who uh, the riders already know, their family and friends and their home churches, and their co-workers, uh, whoever chooses to support it. We invite you to come get involved with what we're doing. Come ride with us. As we say, ride a bike or ride a check. Um, either way, come get involved, take some action, do something with the floors that we have. Washington to Washington! Hooray! Now this gives, this gives us an opportunity uh, during the second segment to uh, talk about some more of those activities that you are involved in. But this is something that you've been involved with uh, for many, many years. Uh, is it not, AJ? Yes, it is. Uh, this is my fifth year with the Fuller Center. Um, as you see, uh, I participated in just a part of the bike, bike adventure this year. Uh, last year, I was able to go coast to coast to go from California to Maine, and so I chose to only do two weeks this year with them. Another part of the things that I did this summer was um, 
to make sure that I covered as many states as I could. You know, after achieving the goal of going cross country, my next goal is to cycle in all 50 states. So I was able to ride with the Fuller Center. Mm -hmm. I was able to uh, ride my bike, you know, before the Fuller Center adventure and after to try to cover as many states as I could. Um, okay, and so what we'll do, we'll uh, take our first commercial break, and then we'll come back and we'll start uh, with the second segment. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. On the, uh, from the video, and so this is the second video we're going to come mm -hmm. up back up. No. Wait, what so they're going to show the, the pictures while we're... Right. Uh, so do you want to run through all the pictures all at once? Uh, I don't know. Um, how, um, with the timing, I mean, I basically just go through all the states. I have a thing one picture for each state, kind of talking about the states that I traveled through. Um, and I guess if you, well, I don't know how... Whatever you think is best, you know, where we could show the picture and I could, you know, say, well, that's where I was in so and so or this and that or, you okay, know, well, lots so of state I think lines. What might be easiest for us is to pop the pictures up. You'll see them on these right. screens right, right. right here and you can talk about right. what that is and then we'll go to the next one. Right. You can talk about right. That. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Okay. So, so it'd be easier for us to pop them up and you follow along with it than right. you try to talk right. about it right. and try to pop it up. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, right. good. That's, well, that's good. That's fine. And so what I'll do during the second segment is just in introduce the second segment and then you'll start. Uh, right. Well, uh, 27. I guess you can tell us yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want to. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'll welcome them back to the show and tell, give them the topic, and then we'll say that something about the pictures that we have available, and let's look at uh, watch some of the mm -hmm. pictures, uh, and then you look at that, and as they pop up, you explain them. Yeah, this is working. I didn't know how we were going to do it. I want that uh, drive. Don't, don't leave here with that. You understand that? Well, I, I never did get it back last oh, time. You, you, <laughs> yeah, I know. It. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Well, they, you got to get it from uh -huh. them. Mm -hmm. Get it from them. In case they need it for the rest of the day. And then when you leave, what you, you get What it. you call this? Uh, bicycling adventures? Summer cycling adventures. Summer cycling adventures. And this is where we're going to bring up the idea that you've got some pictures that you might want to show, and then they're going to throw something. Well, just say, it. tell me a little bit more about, you know, what you did this summer. Mm -hmm. And then I'll start it off with where I started, and I'll say, we'll go to the pictures, mm -hmm. and they'll pop them up. Mm -hmm. and I should be able to tell what state I'm in. When you go out there, you tell the folks that, that we'll be with them after a while. Until Pastor Walker is out there. I think he's out there. And him and the alt men in uniform. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's, you know, they didn't come to arrest anybody. They, he brought them with him. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, community policing, whatever. Summer, by, summer cycle and adventures. Mm -hmm.
Now, we'll have eight minutes for this segment. You see however they cut it up there. And then we'll come back to that final segment. Now, you're doing the pictures on this segment. Now, what are you going to do on that? Uh, There's some more. There's more pictures. Uh -huh. Good. That's good. And so the way we were able to weave this into uh, what we're doing now, you, 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 you see what we're doing? You see how it's, mm -hmm. I mean, you, we're getting the audio. I don't know. See, you know. So you know the, the audio that you had. And so we were picking that audio up when we, okay, good. Got to try to get out of here. We don't run out of time here. I will be loading all of them at the same time here. All right. Will we be able to run all of those on through the rest of the show? Uh huh. Yeah, that'd be good.
tell the show lining up here. So I get out of this one, I go into here, and then by that time we can pick up some time here on uh, Dr. Baldwin's show. Thank you and welcome back to the second segment of the show for today. We're talking to Alvin Haney and he's giving us some information in reference to a cycle in during the uh, summer. And he's already given us some information in reference to uh, the uh, reason that he became involved with what he's doing. Let's pick up uh, at this point, AJ, and let's see if we can uh, watch some of the images that you have. I think that okay. you- Like I said, the second goal that I had was uh, definitely to make sure that I cycled in as many states as I could this summer. Um, I was able to cycle in 19 different states, uh, which was 13 new ones to me, and you know, kind of took some images along the way. Um, a lot of them, I tried to find the state line sign, mm -hmm. trying to find out, you know, where it says welcome to, you know, whatever state that you're in, and that, you know, ended up being quite a task itself. But again, I did bring along some images, and I can share those with you as well. Okay, I think uh, we're making preparation for those. Okay, so Montana was uh, one of the states that I traveled in with uh, the Fuller Center Bike Adventure. Um, we were able to start in Seattle, Washington, and go across Washington to Montana, um, and stopping in, uh, and also through Idaho, and stopping in Yellowstone Park in Montana. So that was when I found that state line sign. Idaho, again, that was before Washington. Um, we got a chance to stay in Kellogg, Idaho, uh, with one of uh, the Fuller Center Covenant partners there, and that is one of the pictures there. There I'm on the Coeur d'Alene Trail, which is one of the nicer bike trails that they have in Idaho. Um, it's a 54-mile trail. We had to do a lot of uh, climbing on our bicycles. We had to uh, go up a lot of mountain passes, and this is going up Stevens Pass on a very cold morning uh, in the state of Washington. Uh, the climbing aspect of cycling is not something I'm very good at, but I'm learning to love it. Uh, this was our starting day in uh, Washington, Seattle, Washington, uh, kind of overlooking the, uh, the landmarks there and starting there at the ocean uh, in Seattle. Uh, they are actually traveling from Seattle, Washington to Washington, D.C. And as I said, I chose to only do two weeks with them. Uh, getting out to Washington State, of course, I had to go through a few states. I had to travel through Oregon, so I uh, stopped in Eugene, Oregon. Um, I had to stop in uh, Sacramento, California, and I did some cycling there. It was another state that I was able to cover. I uh, went through Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is one of the landmarks in Las Vegas as I cycled with one of the local clubs there. Um, of course, had to go through Arizona um, and was able to stay with some family members as well, uh, traveling through Arizona, uh, through New Mexico, um, had to cross there. Um, there is Oklahoma City, I believe, or Albuquerque, yeah, Albuquerque, New Mexico, I believe, is that particular image in one of the parks there. Um, went through Dallas, Texas, so was able to stay in one of the suburbs of Dallas and do some riding as well. Um, this one is in Louisiana, which was the first state that I stopped in and uh, at one of the parks there um, in Louisiana. And so in a real sense, AJ, all of this information is, uh, uh, you've done this for how many years have you been involved? Uh, in well, this? I've been involved with cycling since 2009. Um, got really serious about it about 2011 or 12. And at that time, I, you know, just started setting some goals. You know, I want to do a hundred mile ride. I was able to do that. And then I want to, um, you know, travel from, you know, one state to another and was able to do that. Um, and so it just kind of grew out of, you know, I love of 
cycling, of staying fit. And, you know, and I found a way to use that to also help people. So with the Fuller Center, I'm able to use the, the donations that are raised to help different families, uh, which is part of the mission of the Fuller Center to um, raise uh, money to help families with their housing so that everybody has a safe place to live. Um, the second thing that I raised donations for this year was also um, the Alumni Association at Tennessee State University. Um, I am a graduate of Tennessee State University and uh, our fraternity chapter, um, Alpha Phi Alpha and the BO Alumni Association also put on a bike ride and they've been doing that since 1989. They put on a bike ride where we ride our bikes from Nashville to Memphis and we do that every September. Um, that is also a charity ride, so we um, raise funds to do that. Mm -hmm. So instead of, I guess, asking my generous uh, donors to contribute more than you know one time per year, I just kind of lumped them both together. So I was able to raise enough money to participate with the Fuller Center and also uh, to give funds to the Alumni Association, which will go to some deserving college students over at Tennessee State University. And so you've uh, been involved with charitable work as well as uh, part of your strengthening program, I would imagine, in terms of bicycles. Mm -hmm. And now, how many people actually rode with you this time? Uh, well, I kind of broke it into three segments. Uh, the first segment was actually driving my car from Nashville to Seattle. So that was on my own, going through all the states that we just saw um, and getting to Seattle. Once I got to Seattle and with the Fuller Center, and I think he explained in the video, there were 30 plus people who were going all the way from Seattle, Washington to Washington, D.C. And I participated in the first two weeks of that, which, you know, uh, was uh, the one that had really the most participation throughout all the segments that they're going to do. They break it into nine uh, one week segments. So I did segments one and segments two, you know, going from Washington and then going into Idaho, and then the second week going from Idaho and into West Yellowstone, Montana. So approximately, you know, 30 plus people who are going the whole way, but at any point during any week of the segment, there could be 40 or 50 people with them. And, 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 and so people become involved with this, and uh, it plays a very, very important part in, in what you call charitable work mm -hmm. that uh, the Fuller Center does. Uh, right. uh, I, I understand that uh, you need funds in order to uh, keep this activity going and yes, in order definitely. to support this. Talk about that the, fundraising aspect. The of donations it. go towards the national organization, the National Fuller Center for Housing, but there's also a local organization. We do have the Middle Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, what we call a covenant partner, which is one of the local chapters. So the Middle Tennessee mm -hmm. Fuller Center for Housing is where all my donations went. Um, each cy each uh, cyclist gets to uh, allocate the funds to whichever local organization they would want to. So with there being covenant partners all over the country, um, of course I chose you know the one that uh, you know, most affected me and back at home. And so um, you're, I'm able to raise money for them. It goes towards the local organization, and then the local organization seeks applicants who, you know, need a hand and need help with their housing. And, and, and so uh, it, 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 it serves a real purpose in terms of bringing people together and giving a, 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 an idea in terms of how things might be, able, you might be able to achieve certain things. Mm -hmm. and, and what we're going to do, we're going to take this uh, second commercial break and then we're going to come back and allow you to uh, further elaborate upon some of these things. And we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. And so we can go right into this. Yeah, yeah. Well, well he's going to give you a two-minute break. And then we'll okay, then. That's, that sounds good. That, Just remember to try to keep your body turned towards the camera because you got towards that camera. straight off on the train. Okay. Uh -huh. Got it. Uh-huh. You got it. So, so you're picking up everything. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I didn't know how this would work. Now, this final segment will have those pictures in there, but uh, for me to open it up, what, what, what do you want to talk about specifically, I mean, in, in um, addition to the pictures? Just, I mean, just open up with, um, 
that there's three segments, three parts. So tell us about, you know, the third part of your mission. Because mm-hmm. we already got me driving to Seattle, what I did from Seattle to Yellowstone. Mm-hmm. And then so just say, um, you know, well, tell me about the third mm-hmm. part of your mm-hmm. bicycle adventure. Which is what? What do you call Which it? Which is basically just driving from Montana, <laughs> getting from Montana mm-hmm. and back home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Montana and back home. 30 seconds. Bicycling out west. <laughs> what is it? Summer cycling adventure. Summer cycling adventure. Thank you and welcome back to the final segment of the show for today. We're talking to Alvin Haney and he's given us some information in reference to some of his summer cycling adventure. And let us see if we can pick up uh, AJ and uh, talk about uh, some of the other activities. And I think we have some images that we want to uh, project on the screen uh, right. dealing with some steel photos. And right. Uh, the third leg of my trip was after I left the Fuller Center, um, kind of going back home. So, of course, I had to go through South Dakota and that's where we see Mount Rushmore. And I was able to stay in Spearfish, South Dakota and meet some great people there. Um, I was able to go to North Dakota and there we see Fargo and Moorhead and North Dakota that uh, Fargo is right on the border of Minnesota. So I was able to cycle in two states there and I was able to cover two birds with one stone. Same thing with uh, Iowa, Nebraska. Um, I stayed in Omaha, Nebraska. And so therefore I was right there on the border with Iowa. So I kind of got one foot in each of those two states and was able to cover that particular area. Um, from there, went on to Chicago, and one of the suburbs of Chicago is Oswego, and was able to do cycling in uh, kind of the Chicago suburbs as well, uh, staying with relatives and just, you know, kind of seeing Lake Michigan and all of that. Um, from there, I uh, went on to Michigan and Indiana. I was able to stay at South Bend, Indiana, which was on the border of Indiana and Michigan, mm-hmm. uh, kind of strategically placing those particular states where I could cycle in two states at once. So there's uh, my completed map or where I've done so far. I've covered 38 out of the 50 states. I only have uh, the East Coast to do. And from what I hear from uh, the future plans for the Fuller Center is that next year Mm -hmm. they are actually going to cycle the East Coast. So their plans for next summer are to have two different rides. Um, The ride that they're going to do from Seattle, Washington, down to Oceanside, California. So they're gonna do the West Coast ride. And then of course, they're going to uh, you know, bring our supplies and van all the way across the country. And then they're gonna start in Portland, Maine and go down to Key West, Florida. So, so at some point in there, uh, in the Portland, Maine to Key West, I should be able to cover uh, 10 more of those states, bring me up to 48, leaving me with only Alaska and Hawaii before I've cycled in all 50 states. So that's, that's where I'm headed. And so your goal is to cycle in 50 of the uh, continental United States of America. And, uh, and, and, and so you've almost accomplished that yes, in a real I'm, sense. I'm very close. I uh, started off with 25 and I got 13 new states. Uh, so I'm at 38 and Really looking forward to, you know, trying to achieve my goal of having all 50 states. That's where that's what I want to do. Is there much competition among riders to see who can uh, <laughs> get to as many states as possible? Well, there's, com- there's camaraderie around riders. I, I, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, uh, but, but <laughs> Uh, as far as locally, uh, you know, I do know a few, uh, p- a few local cyclists who have done, you know, a lot of the states. I, I don't know of any that have done all 50, but uh, if there's competition, then I hope I'm, I'm, I'm in there mm-hmm. or, or I'm part of that pack. Um, you know, cycling, it has great health benefits. It's one of the things that, you know, I really love to do. Um, most cyclists, I would say, are former runners, <laughs> you know, used to be a runner. And then when the knees give out or you've had a few surgeries, uh, you turn into a cyclist. You ask the doctor, well, what should I do to you know, keep my health up? And they say uh, and there's much less impact to cycle a bike. So I agree with that 100%. And that's, that's what I do to, to stay in shape. And so you've been uh, riding not only with the Fuller Center, but you have also done quite a bit of 
riding with uh, local groups in in uh, Tennessee, going to uh, various places. Yes, Memphis, and uh, well, say uh, something about I belong that. to a couple of local cycling clubs. Uh, one of them, um, uh, one that I actually founded, was uh, is the Do the Domestiques Cycling Club, and we're based out here out of Nashville. Um, we do charity rides. Uh, we participate weekly, where we're um, you know just going out and getting getting our exercise for the day. So we have rides on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You know, usually the weekday rides um, uh, are 20 miles or less. And, you know, you'd be surprised that 20 miles may sound like a lot, especially if you're thinking about running 20 miles. But on a bicycle, 20 miles, you know, could take you an hour, hour and a half or so. And, you know, the, the benefits, you know, are just exorbitant. So with our 20 mile weekly rides and then on the weekends, uh, we tend to go 50 miles plus, you know, 70, 80 miles would, you know, might be a typical week, weekend ride, especially once, you know, June and July hit. And we've had, you know, since March to, you know, train up to those uh, amount of mileages. Uh, so I, I do that with them um, as a way, you know, again, to kind of support the community. We invite everybody to come along and, and ride with, uh, with our cycling club. And it's something that, you know, I, I think you would enjoy. What are some of the uh, most important things that you remember from uh, your rides uh, all over the nation here? I mean, talk about some of those in your most important experiences that you've had. Okay, well, with my rides, um, again, the charity aspect is definitely something, you know, that I believe strongly in as far as giving back to the community, um, helping people with their housing. Uh, but for me personally it's seeing the people who are willing to be there to help us um, when we do these charity rides we stay at local churches we stay in school gyms we stay at the community center and there's always people there who are willing to give up their time uh, a lot of times they cook meals for us so they're you know they're willing to cook for us and and just find joy in that and just meeting the people across the country who are you know, so, um, you know, willing to give and so helpful and, you know, wanting to help people who are helping others. It makes them feel part of the cycle. Um, it definitely encourages and, and, you know, lifts us up and, you know, gives us what we need as far as being able to, you know, sustain our bodies and, you know, do the physical demands of riding an average of 80 miles a day. Um, so it's really just the people. The people really mean a lot to me as far as them being there to help, wanting to give, wanting to assist us with our mission. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so you would advise uh, people who might be interested in what you're doing, what would you advise them to do? And how would they be able to assist you? In, okay, in um, <clears throat> well, I did set up a GoFundMe site and I believe the address uh, will appear on the, on the end result here. So the GoFundMe uh, and it's, um, uh, cyc Haney Cycling, I believe, or Haney Cyclist is uh, what you would search for. And again, I, I had to raise donations for the Fuller Center, raise donations for Tennessee State University. So that could definitely be a big help um, as far as those missions, you know, being successful. So the donations help, uh, the well wishes help. The fact that, you know, I have people along the way as I post on social media, you know, the images you saw and more and, you know, what I'm doing daily, them just giving me a thumbs up or a like or giving me a comment like you go or keep it, keep it up um, really mean a lot uh, as far as, you know, helping me achieve what I need to do. And you've made quite a number of friends uh, in, in, in that kind of activity among those who you ride with. Definitely. Uh, um, as I was riding in Omaha, I actually, you know, just riding along the street and rode uh, next to another cyclist and you know found out that he has a similar mission that he you know the week after i uh, ran into him that he was starting uh, a bike ride where he started in oregon and he's going all the way you know across to philadelphia and so you know meeting other people with similar interests similar you know views and similar you know uh, need to help people that that means a lot you know, uh, AJ, I think that uh, this is this is an extraordinary activity that you, you're taking part of and that you ultimately wish to ride in all 50 of the continental United States. And you've almost covered many of them. And, and yes, you really think that you can, <laughs> uh, in the end, cover all of the states. Well, I, I had to come up with another goal. So, mm -hmm. again, coast to coast is done. So the 50 states is next. And, 
you know, who, who knows what's after that? I guess I got to take it internationally. Mm -hmm. Do you find folks interested in riding in Alaska and Hawaii or whatever? Uh, I mean, there are people there. I found that out last summer. I, I didn't know that there were people in Maine until mm -hmm. I got there. <laughs> so if there's people there, uh, there's a cyclist there. And, so cyclists are interested in, in, in getting the work and, done. <laughs> and people become all uh, hi uh, hyped up in reference to uh, yes, this sir. activity and they generally want to uh, take part in it. And there's a great... Uh, camaraderie between people right. who ride bicycles. I'm, I'm always encouraging people in our club and people that I run into to, you know, come out and learn about cycling, learn about, you know, what it takes to, you know, ride in a group. It's, you know, different than just, you know, your Sunday stroll mm -hmm. down to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, again, it's a, it's a worthwhile activity mm -hmm. and, and you can help some people along the way. Mm -hmm. And you, let, let me uh, thank you over the last uh, half minute that we have for giving us that excellent information in, in addition to the photographs that mm -hmm. uh, you've shown us uh, today. And uh, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.